Alrighty folks, so over the last 30 days, I've been running an experiment to see how big of an impact the temperature has on seeds germinating and growing. And I think you're gonna be pretty blown away by just how big of a difference that temperature makes. So I'm so excited to be sharing all of that with you in this video. So as we dive in, if you have any questions at any point, please do ask those down in the comments because that's where videos like this come from. So one of the questions that we get quite frequently is how to go about starting seeds. And I figured to kind of unpackage it, I would do some experiments to show how big of an impact each variable has, such as lighting, soil, and today, temperature. And so to try and understand how big of an impact temperature has, 30 days ago, I started three sets of seeds. Those included zucchinis, cucumbers, tomatoes, basil, and kale. And I started each of these sets of seeds in the exact same three inch seed cells. And I utilized our worm casting seedling mix to be growing them in and followed our method of adding seedling mix, then moistening that, putting the seeds in, moistening the seeds, and then covering with just a little bit more seedling mix and moistening that. So each of the sets of seeds were started the exact same way. And then I placed each of them in a location throughout my house underneath the exact same grow light. So they're also getting the exact same amount of light. So everything is the exact same except for that one variable that I'm most curious to learn about, which is temperature. So with the first set of seeds, I placed those in my garage, which is unheated. So it's been kind of cooler than 50 Fahrenheit over the course of the 30 days. And then the second set of seeds I put into a kind of cooler part of my house that's right around 60 Fahrenheit. And the third set of seeds, I placed those into my seed starting station, which has a little space heater and keeps the temperature always above 70 Fahrenheit. And so over the last 30 days, they've just been hanging out in those environments, germinating and growing. And so what I wanna do next is go to each one of those areas and take a bit of a look to see how each of them are doing and growing in those temperature zones. But just before we do that, for those of you that I have not met before, I'm Jordan from Mind and Soil, where we're looking to introduce a million individuals to mindful gardening. So if you're looking to feel more peacefulness, more calmness, more restoration in your life, then I really encourage you to subscribe to our channel here because we put out new videos like this every single week where we're doing different experiments and learning so that you can be getting your hands dirty, feeling comfortable and confident and tapping into the mental health benefits of gardening. So with that being said, let's head over to the first set of seeds which are right beside me here and that is in our unheated garage, which yes, means that I'm filming this in an unheated garage in a t-shirt. All right, so in the unheated garage, garage, we can see that nothing has germinated except for the kale babies, of which four of the five germinated, which is pretty good and really quite impressive because it is only right now about 45 Fahrenheit in here, really, really chilly. And so what that is telling us and what that means is that for our tomatoes, for our basil, for our cucumbers, for our zucchinis to germinate, they're just not gonna be able to do it in a really cool and cold environment like this. Kale, very, very hardy, was able to germinate, but even it is having a really tough time growing in these cold conditions. I would say it's more in survival than in thrive. So with that being said, let's now head over to the 60 degree room. You wanna be like a worm, you gotta think like a worm. So in the 60 Fahrenheit room, we now have tomatoes that have germinated, three little basil babies that have germinated, and a couple of the kale have germinated as well. And so what that still means is that it's still too cold for the cucumber or for the zucchini to have germinated. And then one other thing to kind of note here is that, you know, the kale, it's put on a couple of leaves here, but the basil, it's kind of looking like how the kale looked in the really cold room, or in other words, this is really like the limit for how cool it could go for basil to germinate and grow whatsoever. So this is a bit better, but now let's head over to the warm environment that's been at least 70 Fahrenheit for the full 30 days. Now this is what we wanna be seeing. So in this instance, everything has germinated. We've got now also the cucumbers, they successfully germinated as well as the squash over here on this end. And really everything, you know, not just germinating, but absolutely thriving because of being in that warm environment where it's not stressed, it's not trying to just survive. So to begin wrapping up this video, we're going to take all sets of three seedlings into the garage to take a look at them and make one big observation. So needless to say, temperature has a pretty huge impact on how many seeds germinate 
and how well they grow. And so I think it's safe to say that the one big takeaway from this video and this experiment is to make sure that your seed starting station or the environment that you're starting your seeds in is at least 70 Fahrenheit. And if you're wondering, how do you go about doing that? Well, there's three ways that you can accomplish it. First is just your house thermostat and to turn that up to at least 70 for when you're starting your seeds and then having your thermometer on hand to ensure that that area is at least 70 Fahrenheit. The second option would be to enclose your seed starting area and to utilize some form of a little space heater such as my little Dyson here that I have in my seed starting station so that it is going to heat that area to at least 70 Fahrenheit. And again, you keep your thermometer on hand and you make sure that that area is staying at least 70 Fahrenheit. Now, if neither of those two options work, the third option that you could go with is a heating mat. And you're gonna slide this underneath the seed cells or the seedling tray, and that is going to heat up the bottom of it and keep the seedling mix nice and warm. And in that particular instance, put the thermometer right onto the seedling mat so that you can see what temperature it is at where it's touching the soil. So I really hope that this video has been valuable and if you have enjoyed it then you might also enjoy our video on how to go about starting seeds and you can click on this tile right here to head over to that video to watch it. Otherwise if you have any questions please leave those down in the comments and I'll get a response to you straight away. Other than that you're going to have an amazing season starting seeds. Can't wait to catch you on the next video. See you then.